Hey, what are you doing? I'm still working on that problem and I'm feeling like I'm missing something the, the long division. Long division? Shame on you. You are Egyptian and you have a precious heritage by ancient Egyptian about division. And you still use long division? What does it mean? You have to stay tuned then. Today we're gonna talk about the Egyptian division and I think you will be shocked at their method. I will show you how did they divide numbers easily throughout the example. All you need to do is just to know how to give a double of a number. To use this method, we have a table to represent the numbers. The left hand column is for the parts. It's supposed to start with one. And the right hand column is for the divisor six, which means one part represents six. Now, go to the second row by doubling the first row or multiplying by two to get 12 and two. Double it again, you get 24 and four. Double it again, you get 48 and eight. Now, if you double it again, you get 96, which is larger than the dividend, 54. So, stop at that point, look at the right hand column and try to figure out the numbers added up to 54 which is the dividend. You will see that 6 plus 48 is equal to 54 and similarly add up the corresponding parts on the left to get 1 plus 8 is equal to 9 and that is the quotient so 54 divided by 6 is equal to 9 it's the magic of Egyptians method. Let's move on to the next example and pursue the same way. Here in this example, one part represents 7. Double these two numbers to get 14 and 2. Double it again to get 28 and 4. Double it again to get 56 and 8. And don't go any further because if you double it, you get... 112 which is bigger than 91 now figure out the numbers that added up to 91 they are 7 28 and 56 on the other hand you add up the numbers aligned to them 1 4 and 8 to get 13 and that is the answer so simple so easy Right? Let's take another one. As usual, one part is equal to 5, double it to get 10, 2, and then 20 and 4, and then 40 and 8, and then 80 and 16, <laughs> bear with me, 160, 32, and then 320, 64. And then lastly, 640 and 128. And don't go any further because you will get a number larger than 735. Look at the right hand column and see the numbers that add up to 735. 5, 10, 80, and 640. On the other hand, Add the corresponding parts, which are 1, 2, 16, and 128, to get 147. So, 735 divided by 5 is equal to 147. I know that you are wondering if that method works with the fractions or not. Let's see. In this example, double the first row to get 8, 2, and don't try to double anymore because if you double it, you get 16, which is larger than 15. At the same time, if you added 4 and 8, you get 12. There are only 3 left. Now it's time for the fractions. 
try to concentrate on the divisor. Focus on the number 4. You know the fourth of 4 is 1, but we need 3, not only 1. So multiply the row by 3 and get 3 and 3 fourths. Now again, add up the numbers that result to 15. You get 4, 8, and 3. So the numbers aligned to this are 1 and 2 and 3 fourths. That if you add it up, you get 3 and 3 fourths and that is the quotient. So simple. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. If you have a question, don't forget to put your question in the comments below and see you next time.